April showers bring May flowers, but it just seems like it's going to be May showers too. <laughs> April showers bringing more showers on May 1st. <laughs> Indeed, Kristen, that is right. But the good news is that Monday is not a washout, but an uncommon brand of chill for Monday afternoon, for Tuesday, for Wednesday morning. Uh, the midweek is definitely sullen and showery, but the good news is that the trend is our friend for the end of the week and into the weekend with brighter skies, drier conditions, and a slow warming process. So something to look forward to as we get into what should be a very gray, cool week. 18 one hundredths of an inch of rain in the gauge. We've nearly doubled that since four o'clock. So we have a pretty solid surplus here for the month of uh, April, and we're going to carry a bit of a rainfall surplus here into the month of May. Best chance for seeing some rain probably for tomorrow will be into the evening. So again, tomorrow is not a washout. There will be times where it will be dry, and that's why when you look at your hour by hour forecast here, even though you see those raindrops, again, the showers will be scattered, but the temperatures will require uh, a heavier coat to be sure. So bottom line here, May is masquerading as March here for this week. Most of the week the rain gear is a must, so that's how long the showery setup will last. Could see upwards of two inches in a few rain gauges, so that's going to allow those rivers, creeks, and streams to swell. I think the wettest days, if you're making some plans, will be Tuesday and Wednesday. Rain totals in the short term, not bad. We're pretty much done with the rain here for uh, the time being until tomorrow afternoon and then as we go into Tuesday we will nearly double our rainfall tally that we'll see on Monday and that's why it's just ducky out there puddle duck is uh, going to be excited in some of these uh, one inch one and a half inch rainfall tallies but you might not like the ponding on the water uh, like uh, puddle duck it does low pressure spinning like the big old wheel of misfortune here for several days to come it's the low that won't go Part of the system that also brought some of the heavy weather to the deep south uh, and along the east coast. Here's the good news. The system lifts out of here by the time we get to the end of the week. But the temperatures, again, woefully low. By Tuesday morning, many spots near freezing. And that means some of those showers could mix with a few wet snowflakes. Just cloudy out there right now, 45 degrees. And again, there's our area of low pressure in question just spinning along. The front is through, so the bulk of the rain is through for now. So you'll wake up, I think, on Monday morning to cloudy skies. Then those those scattered showers will pop with the heating of the day, and that will mean, again, kind of an unsettled story. So the periods of rain winding down now, 47 your top temp in Lockport for tomorrow, or 45 in Lancaster, 47 should do it in Buffalo, 41 in Salamanca. There's that super seven-day forecast. Again, much more like March over the course of the next few days. But going forward after that, as we head towards the end of the week, just in time for the weekend, the sun is back and temperatures are back into the 60s. So you know the song about uh, we're living for the weekend. We're definitely living for this weekend, I would say. Yeah, I want that sun all throughout the week. We'll get, I'm over it. You have, over the rain. you have something to look forward to. That's I'm true. living for the song that includes Puddle Ducky. I wasn't going to let you walk <laughs> away. Two nights in a row, this guy's put Puddle Ducky into the forecast. Puddle Ducky, he's the one. He makes bath time or rain time. Lots of fun. Look at that.